All right, welcome back, everybody. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Many families will be sitting down to a big family dinner. Wouldn't it be so thankful? Wouldn't you be so thankful if your kids use good manners? Well, today we're going to teach you how to teach them to be more polite and well-bred. Marjorie Sinclair is an author, world traveler, and she spent more than 25 years teaching etiquette for corporations, colleges, and children. Fortune magazine calls her the social graces guru. Good morning, Marjorie. Good morning, Tiffany. Good I'm to see so you. excited. You've got a demonstration on the table of manners. These are Molly's two kids. Yes. We got Maddie okay. and Jojo. Joseph, mm -hmm. do you go by Joseph now? Yeah. Maddie and Joseph, because you're <laughs> old now. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is great. So they're going to uh, demonstrate. In a little bit, and congratulations to you because you're a new grandmother. Thank you so much. That's yeah, so that's exciting. exciting. Congrats. So this is something you've been teaching for a long time, well-mannered children. Yes, since my son was about six years old, about 30, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and I went to George Watts and asked if they had any etiquette classes for children, he, Mr. Watts said, no, why don't you do it? And at the first graduation, some of the parents said, don't you have something like this for grown-ups? So it's really? evolved into corporations and colleges mostly, but mm -hmm. I like working with children. And I love your motto, which is what? Mm -hmm. Which one? Well, the one She's about. Got a lot. Uh, well, yeah, but I, well, one thing that uh, the good business, good manners. Good manners are good business. Are good business. good business, but I also like what you say that if 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 people like you, life will be easier. Life is so much easier. And yeah. people like you if you have good manners. Yes, and well-mannered children grow up grow up with a lifelong advantage in job situations and personal relationships. Do they? Mm -hmm. Say that one more time for people watching. Well-mannered children grow up with a nice with a. Uh, Background of no, I got an advantage. Yeah, advantage. advantage. Yes, advantage. Mm -hmm. Yes, advantage in uh, job situations and in personal relationships. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about your first tip, which mm -hmm. is teacher expectations. Yes, your parent, your families, uh, parents, your parents have to make this known what you want at this time and place. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure everyone watching, too, was uh, at one time that when they were growing up, they heard their parents saying, yes, but that's not how we do things in this house. Yes. So mm -hmm. parents get to set family uh, etiquette, and you teach your expectations. How do you feel about, because a lot of times at family get-togethers, there's a children's table mm -hmm. separate from the adult table. How do you feel about that? Um, I understand it's practical because mm -hmm. of sheer numbers. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's quite a, a mark of maturity when you get promoted up to the, uh, so the big true. table. Mm -hmm. yes. I remember those mm -hmm. moments in the family when you went from the kid's table to the adult table and how how you, just how much pride you felt to join all the the adults yes yes mm -hmm. yeah and I like what you say too I do this with my kids they can't stand it usually when I do it but tell them in advance often in the car on the way to grandma's house let's say or, or something like that I say rem remember to yes. shake people's hands if you're meeting them mm -hmm. new and remember to look mm -hmm. people in the eye those that's kinds right. of things that's what I mean by the expectations they know it for that time and place mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. teach with reasons you say yes always the reasons why um, don't don't just say sit up straight at the table you also, because it shows self-respect and mm. it shows, looks like more, more of a high-energy person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of your children went through an etiquette class with Marjorie. Yes. Mm -hmm. And have you noticed a big difference in... I At have, home? especially in a more formal setting. So yeah. a family dinner or if we're with my parents or if we're with company or yes. other people eating out, I've noticed. One of the things that Molly talked about, too, after the section uh, is that you say teach with example. As a parent, you have to be the example, right? They, they are watching everything you do all the mm -hmm. time. And I also feel you should not have separate company manners and everyday manners. Mm -hmm. You should only know one set of manners. Those are your company manners. You use them every day. So you never have to turn this on like, oh, the company's coming, have to do special. What did Miss Sinclair say about sitting up straight? Mm -hmm. like, which way do we pass things? No, you only know one way, and it's the right way. Yeah. What is teach tactfully? What, what's important to you about tact? Tact? I heard this definition from a 15-year-old student one time, and I was talking about being tactful. I didn't define my terms. And she said, so you mean tact is like the pleasant side of truth? Mm -hmm. oh, I thought that was brilliant mm -hmm. because, yes, you should always yeah. tell the truth, but some people do that and they say, hey, I'm just being honest. They're blatantly blunt and then people's feelings get hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes so. being honest isn't an excuse for being rude. That's right. Yeah. So I like that. Remember That's good. that one. Pleasant side. And you say teach with praise and encouragement. What do you want to show us about eating at the table? Because you brought mm -hmm. brownies to show us an example three here. Three simple tips. Yeah. Right? Yes, and brownies are usually finger food. I agree on this, but Miss Sinclair did not want to do a full meal today. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great teaching tool for kids because they're yes, going to want to eat that's it, right? right? That's yeah. right. So your first tip is say the magic words in the right tone of voice. Because you've all heard the whiny please mm -hmm. and the sarcastic thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I hear that oh. at my house. <laughs> or, or, not, not all the time. No. Or the yeah. shouted apology. I'm yeah. sorry. Yes. Yeah, right. You can say the right words, but if it's the wrong tone of voice, you don't get any credit for it. Mm -hmm. oh, so that's the first one. I like so that. So I'm going to suggest, first of all, you put, when you sit down, you touch the, take the napkin and put it on your lap, mm -hmm. open it up, 
and you keep it folded in half so because if you spill anything it goes through two layers of cloth before it gets onto your clothes smart i like that okay I like perfect that. guys and do we put it tuck it into our collars mm -mm. no what if grandpa does that on thanksgiving are you going to tell grandpa he has bad manners no 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 no, no. <laughs> Would you ever tell Grandpa he has bad manners? No. <laughs> that, that, would, that would be Grandma's job anyway. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is pick up the knife and fork with your palm up. It's balancing on your index fingers. Then you put your thumb on the handles. Then you turn your palms down. Now you are ready to cut. And we're going to cut with the tip of the knife, keeping the fork in the left hand. The knife is your friend. You sort of push it onto the back here. And you get one, and with the tip of the knife, get that? And then bring it up to your mouth. All the food comes up to your mouth. You can cut it, go ahead. Go mm -hmm. ahead and cut it, mm -hmm. get just your first take bite a bite. There. Right, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I promise you they won't do a tight shot so that everybody no. can, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so then it comes up to your mouth. mouth uh, food comes up to the mouth, mouth does not go down to the food, because you know who does that? Cats and dogs <laughs> bring the mouth down to the food. And, and I love that you teach this way. This is a European style of eating, yes. keeping the left, um, keeping the, the fork, fork in the, the left, left hand. hand. And, and I've told you before, because you and I are friends that go to dinner a lot, that this comes in handy with a lot of formal dinners for adults, too, yes. when they haven't used it before. It sure does. And also, and keep on eating. And take the corners keep first. You're eating. right, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> that works fine. But if you... Um, if you are Americans and, and you live in America, you can eat American style if you want. So mm -hmm. if you did, you would cut the same way, then set the knife down, and then switch the fork to the right hand. You keep switching the fork back and forth. Makes some people hypnotized, but mm -hmm. it, it's only in America that this happens. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. It's only in America that we swap back and forth That's the fork right. and everything. Mm -hmm. It's called European style, but it's Asia, um, India, Australia, South, South America, uh, Africa. Right. They use well, fork. we have, who is it in our house who always eats European style, Maddie? Martin. Yeah, we have a foreign exchange oh, yes. student from Spain, and mm -hmm. he always eats this way. That's and right. it's been kind of cool for my to kids to it. see. Yes. Yeah, I think it's really neat. Mm -hmm. You say, Marjorie, I like this point, smile with your eyes. You guys don't have to keep eating unless you want to. Um, smile with your eyes, because you say you're more attractive and look more engaged, right? Yes. You need, uh, need sparkly eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not enough to, enough to smile. If you smile with only your mouth and not the eyes, it looks fake and phony. Right. See, and little kids having the fake smile in, uh, in yeah. pictures. Uh, no fake uh, smiles. We know that is. Mm -hmm. And in honor time, of Thanksgiving, I just wanted to say express gratitude. Yes. Yes. Um, generosity needs to be encouraged. Mm -hmm. So if people feel unappreciated, they stop doing nice things for you, and then you have no reason to thank them or to write thank you notes. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think and you say wonderful. thank them twice. Yes, because if you opened a gift in front of them, of course you said thank you, mm -hmm. because you learned that when you went to your first birthday party. But if you really mean it, call them the next day, send a handwritten thank you note, thank them the next time you see them, but thank them twice, especially if it took them more than 15 minutes to do this nice thing for you. Oh, That's the 15-minute really nice. rule. I yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. I love that, too. Mm -hmm. All right. You say let's bring family back to the dinner table. Eat at least three times a week if you can. Here's more tips with Marjorie. You can contact her for children's etiquette classes. She's got them going on January 9th, 16th, and the 23rd. You can call to take part in those classes at 414-861-1965. Again, 414-861-1965 or MarjorieSinclair.com. You're the best. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. Great. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. You Happy too. Thanksgiving mm -hmm. to you, too. It's great you do those at George Watts Tea Shop where yes. you started all That's those right. years yes. ago. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.